So in case of perfect competition, how would the revenue uh, change? So we need to first understand total revenue. How would the total revenue be affected? So what is total revenue? Total revenue is nothing but the price, uh, the market price of the goods and the output, the firm's output which is there. And this is what is the total revenue. Now, let's say I'm talking about the same example of chocolate. So if there is no box of chocolate, the total revenue would be zero. With one box, the total revenue is 10. With two box, the total revenue is 20. With three box, it is 30 and so on and so forth. So this is the total revenue and this is the number of boxes. Now, what are the three basic things that we need to understand about total revenue? If the total revenue, if the number of units are zero, then there is no revenue at all. The total revenue increases linearly and the revenue increases with output. As the output increases, the revenue also increases. So you would have more number of boxes, more revenue, more number of boxes, more revenue. So revenue is directly proportional to the output. Higher the output, higher the revenue. Again, how do we understand the slope here? The slope is AQ one by OQ1 and this is considered AQ1 by OQ1 and that is how we understand the slope of the straight line and this AQ1 by OP1 is nothing but the price. So how do we understand total revenue? In the first case, the quantity is zero. So the total revenue is zero. In the second case, quantity is one. The price is 10 against uh, the quantity. So the total revenue is 10. In the second case, quantity is 2, price is 10, so the total revenue is 20. In the third case, price the quantity is 3, price is 10, so the total revenue is 30 and so on and so forth. So we have the total revenue which increases 0, 10, 20, 30 and this increases linearly. So this is how we understand the total revenue. Now, when the output is 1 unit, we understand this as a horizontal distance. So with this, we call this as the output unit and this slope is the total revenue. So this would be the revenue and this would be the output. So against the output, we would have the revenue and this slope, which is the AQ1 by the OP1 would be the price which would be given and therefore total revenue is nothing but the market price of the goods multiplied by the firm's out the firm's output okay this is how we calculate the total revenue now what is average revenue average revenue is nothing but the total revenue divided by the quantity so you have total revenue which is 10 divided by quantity 1 which comes to 10 in the second case total revenue divided by the quantity which is 20 divided by 2 which is again 10 in the third case total revenue divided by the quantity which is 30 divided by 3 which is 10 now therefore i can say average revenue is nothing but the price itself in the case of a perfect competition and therefore I say average revenue is the price curve and this price curve is a horizontal straight line and this shows that it is perfectly elastic in nature and since it is perfectly elastic you have the price that remains the same across any number of output so a firm can sell as many goods at the same price as it wants to sell. So if a firm sells 20 units, 40 units, 1000 units, the price for that would remain the same. And that is what is the average revenue. I repeat again, average revenue is the total revenue divided by the quantity. In the case of perfect competition, that equals to the price of the commodity. What is marginal revenue? Marginal revenue is the increase in the total revenue per unit increase in the output. So change in the revenue divided by change in the quantity. So in that case, I would have PQ2 minus PQ1 divided by Q2 minus Q1. Clear? So in this case of 20 minus 10, which is the total revenue, I would have 2 minus 1, which is again 10 by 1, which is 10. In the next case, it would be 30 minus 20 divided by 3 minus 2, which is the quantity. Uh, so it would be again 10 by 1, which is 10. So again 10. 
So in the case of a perfect competitive market, marginal revenue would be equal to the average revenue and this would be well equal to the price. So to simplify again, marginal revenue in case of a perfect competitive firm. So note that we are talking about perfect competition only right now. So in the case of perfect competition, marginal revenue would be equal to average revenue and that would be equal to the price of the product. So the key concept here is if and when the firm increases its output by one unit, this extra unit would be sold at the market price. And therefore, we say the market price is perfectly elastic. It is a perfect horizontal line. And this curve is the curve for the price line. This is the curve for the average revenue. And this is the curve for the marginal revenue as well. So the firms increase in the total revenue from one unit output extension, we can say, is the marginal price. And therefore, this is the curve for the total revenue which would be witnessed. So this was about understanding the total revenue which is the price into the output, average revenue which is the total revenue divided by the, to the quantity which is the price and the marginal revenue which is the change in the revenue divided by change in the quantity which is again the price and both average revenue and marginal revenue are perfectly elastic which is equal to the price line in the case of a perfect competitive market. So in the next section, we would understand profit maximization in short run and long run.